<clears throat> Hi guys, um, I've been getting a lot of questions on the boot sector virus that um, has been happening to some people. I'm sure that's what it is. And I'm going to show you kind of how to diagnose it. Um, I'm going to give you the lowdown, which you're probably not going to be happy with, but I'm just going to give it to you so you understand. Um, first off, you're going to need what is a Windows, Microsoft Windows XP disk or if you have Vista 7, whichever it is going to be, um, this is my Windows XP disk copy with SATA drivers. What you have to do, and if you have a laptop, you're going to need an external drive hooked up by a USB. So let's go ahead and put this in real quick. But I'll show later in the video how to make one of these. Um, you have to have the original Windows XP disk mine was SP2 otherwise when you go to make it if it's some legal copy or something it's probably not going to work um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show what you have with the disk in basically you turn on your computer I gotta flip on the power first in the back okay so now I can turn it on and the first thing you want to do is go into your BIOS so on a laptop, sometimes it's delete, F2, um, F8, it depends on what it says on the screen. This computer screen needs to be on so you can see what I'm doing. My mom didn't like the last keyboard and mouse over here, so she got a new one, which is very nice. Very nice. Um, I don't know why she put Apple. <laughs> No, we don't have any Apple stuff in this house. Okay, so it's going to ask you for a password um, to get in your BIOS, maybe if you have it set. Uh, mine, I'm not going to show because I put it with all my stuff. Um, and then you push enter and log in. And you could try 0000, if you, or 60s, or admin as passwords if you have never set them up sometimes that's what they are um, first thing you're gonna do is go into your boot menu and so I'm in the CMOS features I think you wanna go to advanced BIOS features I believe it's in here okay here we go let me sit down so you can see it <clears throat> alright so we've got hard disk boot property usually that's uh, telling you which hard drive you want to go to there's only one on this computer. Um, of course, in BIOS, it's going to look different, but you want to change the first boot to be your CD-ROM, or um, usually this device, if it can detect it, and it does not. Sometimes you see USB um, CD-ROM, but it's not detected right there. So you just go CD-ROM. Um, you could do hard drive here or you can just disable it. I just leave them disabled. Um, pretty much that's the only thing you need to do. Make sure that you don't just exit. You want to save. So you hit F10 um, on the keyboard and then you hit yes and hit enter. Yes is a Y. Um, okay so we're going through here and it should come up automatically reading through the device. Um, it looks like it's only going into the CD-ROM. See there? So, actually it's working. See it says here boot from CD. Hit enter. And it did catch the right device. And then it's going to come up with this screen. First thing you're going to do, um, you, you actually don't have to worry about this process, but if you had a floppy, because Windows XP doesn't come with SATA drivers, uh, and you have the SATA drivers on the floppy, you can actually hit a key and insert the floppy and uh, run it off here. It will be this button right here, just telling you. If you decide to use a floppy, I'm going to show you how to avoid using a floppy, but you hit F6 right here. So if you need to install third party um, hardware or something. But we don't need to worry about that because I have SATA drivers on here. The hard drive in there is SATA. And if you want to know if your hard drive is SATA, what you do is 
pull off the back here. You can usually tell you get a blue screen right now with a bunch of hardware, but um, it's going to be a red skinny cable type. Uh, yes, this one is actually gray right here. see that see there's the black you gotta always make sure you don't touch this stuff without um, touching the the uh, metal first because you need to um, make sure that you don't shock anything but right here it's a small cable a ribbon is going to be like this and if it's like this that's IDE you if you have IDE you have no problem Windows XP will detect the drivers for it it does take a little bit of time to come up on the computer. If I can get this thing on. There we go. It's on. Okay, this process takes a little bit of time. I'm sorry for that. That's just the way it goes. And it should get pretty close to the end of this right here. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to as soon as it gets there, I'm waiting. Waiting. You can look up the controls. I had forgotten what they were. It's been a while. Let's go to my videos. And let's see here. Probably way down there. It's been a while since I've seen the boot sector virus. Uh, yeah, or I just don't know where it is. Here it is. Okay. Just trying to remember. Okay, hey guys, it's Zach. Um, this video, I'm going to make it real quick and simple for those people. Okay. So if for the for the instructions that you need, let's go ahead and get that to remind you. Um, you might want to write this down. Copy all your data. Go to the DOS prompt using the Windows boot up disk. That's what we're doing right now. Enter in these commands. Check disk slash R. That's with the space right there. Fix boot and fix MBR. And you're going to have to hit yes. Um, so here's the screen. And what you're going to want to do is hit R, unless you're completely reinstalling, but we are trying to fix a fixed boot. So we're going to hit R, and it's going to go examining disk configuration. Um, but you want to write down those three things I said because that's what you're going to be typing in. Sorry, it took a little bit of time to make this video. We just, been, just haven't really had time. We've been putting things together. So this will be pretty helpful to those people that are really screwed, their computer's not working. <laughs> um, but the sad truth is that Windows XP disk is no longer sold through Microsoft. What that means is they stop support because they are money hungry savages, yep, you heard me savages. And they're already making a Windows um, 8 and basically what they want you to do is keep upgrading, keep upgrading and so the problem is is you just can't get that disk anymore really you might be able to buy it through ebay if you're lucky um, you might be able to download it no idea i don't download stuff like that i just buy it because you should really own it um, but since you can't buy it i don't know what you're going to do other than borrow it from some techie um, so you got microsoft windows xp recovery mode this is which installation would you like to log into? And here you hit one to 
cancel, you press enter. So you don't want to hit enter, you want to hit one, and then you hit enter. Kind of weird, huh? Um, type the administrator password. This probably is the same password that you set up when you install Windows um, as an administrator. Usually I don't have a password. If you don't know what it could be, try guessing, admin, zero, zero, zero. Any password that you think you might have. So I just hit enter and here we are. The first thing I'm, I'm going to do is type in those three commands that were over here on this video. Well, I can actually read them all the way from over here. That's nice. Check disk slash r fix boot and fix mbr and you have to hit enter. So check disk slash r and it's going to check it. Now I can do that right now just because it's checking it. It's not going to really perform anything on this computer but um, again like I'm going to tell you update or excuse me copy your stuff if you can just because you may lose it regardless you probably already lose it through viruses. It, I always keep backups just in case um, but once you do the other two things that are over there on the video fix boot and fix MBR and you hit yes and yes because it's going to ask you do you wish to overwrite your computer might not be working that's the only real choice you have if you can't get your computer working but you copied your data or you're, or you're just willing to risk it um, once you do those things you should restart your computer and you'll stop getting the black screen of death with the blinking cursor because what will happen is it will notice where the hard drive is located and it will boot to windows um, so usually a virus has screwed that up and sometimes the check disk fixes it, sometimes it doesn't, that's why you're putting all three in. <clears throat> and yes, I've done it before, it did help against two computers that had this virus. Um, so you, I'm giving you my professional take on it, it, it did work. Um, I had to take another computer and format it sadly because I could not figure out. I tried doing, I think it was fix MBR and it didn't work. And so I ran all three and then it did, so in the process I did, so since I don't have the same symptom coming up I went to all the websites that I did and I could not get it to come up again so I don't know how the virus got on the system but it just affects the um, master boot record so really it was something before Windows but it does it while in Windows so you deep freeze didn't really protect against it although it's pretty easy to fix and I think it's gonna be about 100% Next part of this video, I'm going to show you how to make that disk if you have the Windows disk when you can uh, put the SATA drivers on it because that's the problem you're going to get is a blue screen with a bunch of letters and numbers. That's hardware failure and what it happens is you don't have the drivers and Windows XP never had SATA drivers. But um, basically what Microsoft should have done is kept selling their Windows XP disk maybe online something make some profit off of it but no they want you to buy their hundred and fifty to two hundred dollar operating system they want everybody to keep upgrading this Microsoft for you this takes some time sorry for the video I'm just going to get through the next step in case someone asks a question it's pretty simple usually it will it will say do you want such and such fix just hit yes why yes but um, after this finishes you run again like I'm going to say you need to keep repeating because some people just keep asking questions you want to run the other two fix boot put yes and then fix MBR after that and these are commands in the DOS prompt and the only way to get them up is with this window disk that I know of. It's the recovery console, which usually just comes back into the DOS prompt. It's taking a very long time. Um, the program that does it, I can't remember exactly. I can put the SATA drivers up on the web, which I'm going to try to do. The uh, reason I can is because it's not copyright where I'll get in trouble. I can't put my Windows XP disk up. I wish I could help you guys with that, but it would be copyright and I'd get in trouble, so I can't do it. 
sadly I'm sorry that's just the way it goes if you want to be pissed off at somebody be pissed off at Microsoft yeah it says that check disk is preferring pre performing additional checking or recovery repeating repeating 53 percent take a damn long time Um, in other news, I will be making a video probably in the next few days. We'll have the giveaway, and you guys will have to tell me. I'm going to do comments of pick, um, pick Airsoft GI, Fox Airsoft, or anyone else that gives gift certificates. Maybe e bike. I'll have to check and see. So I'm only giving up to 50 bucks, but that is my own money. So you have to be somewhat grateful. I work hard for it. Um, on top of that, I'm trying to think, the question that I'll have is: Would you guys rather that's all you get, somebody gets, or you know, a few more weeks, more money into the um, to the giveaway, gets a bigger gift certificate or a gun or something? Kind of have a vote. I think I'll have a video that has to be a vote. You know, be by comments. And this is taking extremely long. If you don't like any part of this video, just fast forward. Um, just kind of giving my own input anyways. <laughs> you should know it's going to take a long time because you're watching this video. My mom put this up on the wall over here, which is pretty funny. Hit any key to continue. <laughs> and he's about to hit every key right there. <laughs> funny stuff yeah oh the other thing I was going to talk about I actually have decided that when I do the giveaway um, I'm not just going to give it to anybody in my subscriber list because some people actually are inactive um, and that would just be more waste of time waiting for a reply and not getting anything so I figured if you're going to be inactive I have these people that don't even make real accounts. They just have a name, no, no profile, no nothing, um, and I don't see any activity from. Them. So what I'm going to do is instead, when the actual giveaway comes up, I'm going to ask anybody that wants to participate in the giveaway, do you want to, do you want the chance to um, win in the giveaway? Because it just makes it so much easier. Um, it becomes difficult and time-consuming when you don't get any reply. So I just decided, hey, that was pretty fast right there, 75 to 100 or something like that. But I just decided it would be better, it would be easier on me. So stay tuned, watch videos when that does come up. I'm not exactly sure, probably in the next few days. Uh, found and fixed. One or more errors in the volume. Blah, 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 blah. Hopefully my computer turns back on. <laughs> Knowing whatever Microsoft code did. Um, Although that was probably created through DOS. Check disk slash R. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Anyways, um, at this point you would run the, the fix boot and then hit enter and fix MBR master boot record. MBR, yeah. And then you would restart your computer by hitting the restart button. <clears throat> So I'm going to hit restart. After you do that, you will have to go back into BIOS. So whatever your key is, if it's F2, F4, keep hitting it at the beginning until it takes you inside. Sometimes it only takes a few clicks, but I just keep hitting it. It's an old habit. Um, put your password in. and go back to the BIOS features where I was and change the porty back to hard drive because it needs to go back to the hard drive and the rest can be disabled also set a password in your um, let's make sure it saved that um, hit save right now F10 
Also make sure to set a password on your uh, BIOS viruses, nasty viruses get in, they set a password and they screw up your keyboard or your um, motherboard, excuse me. So now it says detecting IDE drive, although it's really SATA. You saw it was hooked up by SATA. Maybe not too good in the video, but so we're going to go into Windows XP and I'm going to look for that thing. I can't remember what it is called. Okay, so you're going to go into, you'll probably have to do this on another computer. This is how to make the disk. Um, put the camera down just for a second so I can type and figure out where I'm supposed to go. I'm going on Yahoo. And I'm searching Windows XP make disk with SATA drivers. In light is what it's called. And I believe it's a free program, which is really nice. So there it is, in light. And the step process with Inlight is pretty simple. So I'm going to look up the link. I will give the link in the video because I know people will ask, I can't find it. Where do I download it? Or they download something that was fake. It's inlightos.com. Just to show you guys, there it is. All right, let me stay there for a little bit of time. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go into the downloads. Download. And you want to download for Windows. Of course, download here. Not working. Try again. Sometimes that just doesn't work the first time. Okay, hit save. Um, save it. Run it. Uh, I need the requires net frame 2.0. This computer's so old it doesn't even have that net frame. Ah, <sighs> very frustrating. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do this on my computer because I don't want to install net frame and I don't want to install SP3 gets to be a pain sometimes. And I don't think SP3 is on here. Um, so I want to leave this computer working as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the other computer and I'm going to stop recording right now. And then show how to do that. Okay, so download in light. Go to the Inlight website, which is inlightos.com, and run the one that's right down below Windows Download. Go to 01 because the original doesn't seem to be working. So we go next, right here. It's hard to do with my opposite hand, so let me do this one. Um, hit next. What you can do is locate the Windows installation, you hit browse. That'll be the one on there. Um, mine's been renamed Windows XP SATA, but it should be whatever the original is, Windows XP something. Um, and you hit OK. So that's off the CD-ROM, that's the DVD-ROM drive right there. Yeah, that's a DVD ROM drive, so you hit OK. Select where you want to save. Just make up somewhere. Um, you can make a new folder for now on the desktop. Let's 
Okay. And here it's going to ask you um, copying. It's going to copy the Windows XP disk into your new folder. So we're just going to wait this part out. More waiting. It's not too bad. I at least have a Plex, Plex Store fast DVD copier, so it'll go fast. It's actually dual layer. That looks bad zoomed up. Something on the screen, maybe? I don't know. Hans HD. And I am starving. I've only had one Subway sandwich today. And what else did I have? I'm trying to think. A banana? And a yogurt parfait. So yeah, my stomach is really hungry. It's actually growling and hurting. But it is what time? It's 12 a.m. Not a good idea to eat at late night. Otherwise I won't lose any weight that way. As long as this video is taking, you guys should be happy that I made it for the people that are asking questions. And if this is not a video for you, don't watch it. Also, speaking of which, I wish I could see who's putting dislikes on my channel because I know it's the same person. They're going through almost all my videos and putting dislike. And it happened at the same time. So I went to go check and then I see dislike on a good portion of my videos that was never disliked. And then I go down and it's disliked like all the way down. One. So what has happened is someone went through all my videos and really hates me as a hater and went ahead and started disliking all of them because I really doubt out of all those videos and I've, I always monitor my stuff every once in a while I go back and check just to see if I get any comments and someone has put dislike all the way across and I know it's got to be one person it's just too much of a coincidence to have something like 15 videos disliked the same day with one dislike it's just too much of a coincidence. So one person just doesn't like me and is going through my videos and putting dislike. Which means you're a complete asshole. Because <clears throat> it's not like I do anything to hurt people. I'm just trying to be a cool person. Be nice and everything. And people just are haters. Complete haters. Even going through this process for some people and being a nice guy and helping trying to help them out, which Microsoft's being a beesh. Yes, a beesh. Because I didn't want to say any cuss words. But uh, they make it a pain for people that want to help you, can't really help you. Okay, once we got the disc in there, I'm going to switch off my hand here. Let's see what's here next. Locate the Windows installation. Locating the Windows installation. Um, yeah, that's the that's the folder we just made. It's the new Windows copied we put in there. So you hit next. It should pick up the same directory. Just to show that it did. It's the same desktop. So you want to hit next. And then here you want to go um, just next, I think. You just want to go next. Here, yeah, here's what you want to do. So in here you want to do drivers. Uh, I'm trying to remember. You just want to do drivers. And I think you want to make also uh, create a bootable ISO. No, you want to. Oh, that's weird. You want to integrate first. Okay, so here's where it asks the drivers. Go to insert multi driver. 
and you want to use um, the location of the download of the SATA drivers. So if you download from Intel your SATA drivers, you would select the SATA drivers and insert them now. Um, mine are on a floppy, so what I would do is go to the A drive and select the two there. Um, and what it will do is put them in here. You hit next and you wish to start the process, hit yes. And you should, it should ask you which drive do you want, um, which drive do you want. So this could be the drive that has a CD in it that you're gonna write to. That could be, or you could just take this disc out, put a new one in and write there. Um, that's pretty much it. There shouldn't be any other questions after that. Once you make your disc, do the beginning part of this video. I think I will actually, this thing, I'm gonna switch the two. So it'll be a little weird, but um, it will be more organized if you start with making the CD first. So I have my Windows XP disc in there. I copied from it and then, nah, I'll keep it the other way. Keep it the original way. Because I said a couple things that are important. Also, take note, guys. If you are using an external USB DVD or anything USB, the longer the USB cord is, the more likely the device will not work. Uh, sometimes I get questions every once in a while. Why does my device not work? And they have like a 20-foot USB cable. And that's exactly why it doesn't work. You'll notice it when you switch. For some reason, it just doesn't give enough power all the way through the, to the unit. Um, that's something important to know. A lot of people don't know that. Um, especially, I was even thinking about uh, hooking up things with the computer and I was going to use a long USB and I found that out so um, it is true it's as true as it's going to be so there it is that should help get you um, through through it and we're going to be done there um, any more questions give them to me hopefully you guys get your, com your computer back and running out